That is fucking freaky looking. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that was Gangora again. Either that was a creature he made, or he can shapeshift. Drink this. It will calm you a bit. Right. Oh. <sighs> nice job, Plutz. What should I do? I've... I've killed... I've killed a man! Perhaps your memory is a bit muddled. It was an accident. Chairman Roxian passed away due to unfortunate circumstances. But... but... The chairman fell prey to a sudden illness. It was beyond the doctor's abilities to save him. Leave everything to me. I will announce the chairman's sad demise to the people. No one else will be hurt. No one will question your highness's integrity, and the chairman's good name shall be preserved. Consider this. If our nation lost both the chairman and your highness, it would plunge into chaos. If that were to happen, Goza would undoubtedly take advantage of our weakness and invade. Yes, Goza would. Remember, they have plotted against Kent and wore down Ura during the recent war. If Ura were to falter now, it would be an invitation for Goza to invade. What should I do? There is only one thing your highness must do, and that is to protect Ura. Me? Yes, your highness. Like your father, you must lead your people with confidence and conviction. It is your solemn duty to overcome the incident that occurred today. That is true. It is my duty. Gongora, will you stand by me? Always, your highness. If it weren't for you, Gongora, I don't know what I would do. You sell yourself short. You are an able administrator, and you will one day be a fine king. Now then, today you must rest. Beginning tomorrow, you will be a very busy king. Apparently... Stay forward. You are my servant. Give me a sign of your fealty. Welcome back, Kaim. I think I'm gonna be sick. If Gungora wiped out our memories, he must be up to something. So he took our memories, instead of taking our lives. By taking away what was most precious to us, he destroyed our hearts and reduced us to empty shells. If he's willing to go that far, what he's after must be this world. The world itself. Yes. Ridiculous. Me, you, Gungora. I remember two others. One of them is Sarah. The other one is Ming, the thousand-year-old queen who founded Numara. Does she remember? I don't know. When we were released, we only got a glimpse of her face. I'm going to look for Sarah. 
Any ideas where to start? In my memories. That is true. The way you feel about people is different from memories. Feelings of love become a huge sense of loss when your memories are sealed. Those you've loved remain in your heart. You'll be able to meet her again. I'm sure. I've stumbled upon my daughter's death twice now. The first time she died, my heart was filled with despair. The second time she died, though, it wasn't despair that filled my heart. It was hope. If he won't die, I'll bury Gangora in so much pain he'll wish he was dead. We have all the time in the world. That's the hope that I live for. Liram helped me to live again. Ah, they all lived happily ever after. Kai, if the send-off tomorrow is too hard for you to bear... No, I'll see Liram off. It's my duty as her father. Okay, Jansen. Good morning. You must be Miss Liram's father. Uh, yo. Miss Seth contacted me. I'm here to assist in sending Miss Liram off. You're one strange looking priest, that's for sure. Where's Mom going? She will return to Mother Ocean, who brought us to this land long ago. Even though her body goes to the sea, you will still have your spiritual bond with her. Spiritual bonds? Yes. Your souls as mother and son will always be connected. Even though the body may have gone, these bonds are eternal. I'll need the family's assistance to give Miss Liram a proper farewell. What should we do? It's nothing difficult. We'll need flowers to adorn Miss Liram and torches to light the send-off flame. I understand. I'll get lots of flowers so Mom will look extra pretty. Then, if you would take care of the torches, please. Are you all right? Yeah, but I want to do something too. Certainly. I'll have you help me later. Well then, the first thing is to gather the flowers, please. All right, will do, man. Yeah. We gotta go around and we gotta pick flowers. Ten white flowers, okay. There is one flower. And two flower. And more flowers if I can find them. Oops, yeah, there's one. Oh, no, can't get it from over there though. Doop -de doop -de doop -de doo. And I think we have to go this way to find more or something. I don't know. This is just a pain in the ass. Why can't they just say, Hey, go find flowers. And why, yeah, why can't they just do that? Why do they have to make the player run around and find these fucking white flowers? That's, that's stupid. You shouldn't have to do that. gotta find more four more of these fucking things uh,
Alright, one more. And where did I miss that? Oh. Okay, where is the freaking Where's the last one at? There it is. Good God. Alright, now let's head all the way back. Okay. All right, Mr. Kime, please gather the branches for the torch. Why don't you why don't you gather the branches for the torch? Aren't we paying you to do this? Why do we have to do it? Oh for God's sake. This fucking horse shit. I don't wanna run around and find this bullshit. Oh, and the fact that we gotta find ten of these bastards is bullshit, too. Can I just find one? Or five? Or three? Or something? another one. We'll pick it up. Thank you. Okay, now you have to run all the way back. Isn't this fun? This is actually like my least favorite part of the game, so I'm glad it comes on disc one because it's extremely fucking annoying. Why can't they just show us the cutscene of the frickin' funeral? Why do we have to do all this busy work bullshit? See Mac around. He said he had some place to go and, and then he ran off. Aren't you worried? Mac has a lot of guts. He'll be fine. Um I'm your grandfather. You can call me grandpa. Even though you're younger than mom? Yeah. <laughs> 